Welcome to Pelly Fandom. I'm Paul. Please subscribe and hit the bell button so you may get all of our videos. So this is Paul and this will be my review for La Llorona from the Guatemalan director Jairo Bustamante. This movie was actually released on March uh, 2020 this year. So basically if you're not uh, uh, well related to this uh, to this legend, uh, La Llorona basically in stands for this woman who lost their children uh, in some uh, stories because this is a common theme in Latin America. Well, she kills them. In others, she basically lost them or they are drowned. So basically, uh, that's the main um, legend of La Llorona. Now, Jairo Bustamante, this is his third movie and I think this is a really good one and you'll see why. And uh, well, basically it's a social thriller, alright? And they want to, uh, well, like, have this atmosphere of, um, uh, you know, uh, horror movies, you know, but Actually, however, it, it, it doesn't it doesn't uh, quietly uh, lands as a terror horror movie. You know, uh, it's more like a suspense movie. You know, so on that uh, meaning, on that sense, I believe that uh, it's just a little bit like. Um, Maybe they want to do something, but they couldn't like finish it uh, on the way they want it. However, this does not interfere on the theme and on the content of the film, which is a good one. And uh, actually, it's based on a true story. Well, half of it, and you'll see why. And it's a social critic uh, to the Guatemalan society because. And this is based on the trials to the general Efrain Rios Montt, who was a real character, a president of Guatemala on the 80s. And well, he was accused of genocide against indigenous population on the 80s. And uh, well, on the uh, 2000s, uh, the trial began and basically he was condemned. But then at the uh, sentence was reversed so basically uh, it's uh, well uh, it's based on that story and it is a social critic and a magic realism uh, for the Guatemalan um, society so basically uh, the character that plays uh, Rios Mond is actually not Rios Mond but uh, is um, Enrique Monteverde general so uh, he's the character who's the parallel uh, on this uh, film to the Ephraim Rios Mont uh, character in real life and is played by Julio Diaz so he makes a really good um, uh, acting you know and uh, also but we have the main character which is La Llorona which is Alma now this character is played by Maria Mercedes Coroy she was the um, main protagonist of Ishkanul uh, the previous uh, movie the first movie of Jairo Bustamante all right and uh, well she is uh, the main character here on this movie playing La Llorona Alma, all right. Now uh, she was also on uh, this movie Bill Canto with um, uh, with uh, a lot of uh, Hollywood actors, you know, and Julian Moore, and she's really good. Now I love the way she plays this character. However, I do believe that she has a, a short dialogue. All right. Uh, she doesn't have that many lines uh, and to me that was something it wasn't favor 
of the film because I wanted to see more of her dialogue, how she uh, was able to communicate with the rest of the characters. She she's able to communicate, but I mean it's much more like a silent, more like a, it doesn't have uh, the whole uh, like a, a ghost. I understand that she's a ghost on the on the movie. However, I would like to see more. Uh, development of this character but she made it well she she made a great job with this character and then we have a uh, Carmen which is the wife of Enrique uh, which is played by Margarita Canepic all right now we're seeing her with her daughter and uh, she played uh, a secondary character which it was good it was uh, a great acting as well uh, brief and for a while it was uh, for brief moments it was outstanding however I do believe that uh, she did a great job and Sabrina de la Oz uh, who is Natalia the daughter of Enrique Monteverde general so we're watching her here and she played I think of all of the characters uh, she was the outstanding character Sabrina really did a great job with this character, with the acting, with everything related to this movie. So I think she's like like the glue of this uh, film, if you want it, because she can like make this link between the past and the present of this film and the story on it, right? And other characters such as. Uh, Valeriana, uh, played by Maria Litona, she's a young uh, actress who plays the daughter of uh, Natalia, and uh, basically it's it's wonderful. If she keeps going with this, I think she will be a wonderful uh, actress in the future. And Litona, which is the bodyguard of the family, played by Juan Pablo Olislager. So uh, it was a brief but also a great acting. On the technical aspects, I um, well, I can see that they have a great photography, a great uh, nice script, right? And they have a good theme, uh, the conflict, the social critic, the all of the elements. You can see it's a very polished um, movie, uh, very polished product. So. Um, it has a quality elements, has quality uh, story. The way they uh, hire Bustamante, which is basically the director, the own director, uh, one of the most, uh, according to, to my opinion, outstanding directors nowadays in Latin America. I do believe this uh, is a great film. And also, what I do believe it's a, a great uh, ending has a great ending with a song played by Gaby Moreno which is uh, a Grammy winner in Latin America so basically she makes a wonderful job with this interpretation of La Llorona and uh, with uh, with the song at the end of the movie it's really sad and everything uh, mixed together to create this a drama, suspense, social critic, magic realism atmosphere, which is just just uh, plays nice and is the perfect ending for this movie. However, I strongly believe that the pandemics, because this was launched on March 2020, just when the pandemics was erupting, and it was uh, that hurt a lot the movie. So basically, uh, this film, it could be uh, a great uh, success at the box office, but uh, it had to be, well, not removed from theaters, but the theaters closed when that happened. But uh, it was also played on different uh, countries in Europe, and I believe in certain parts of the uh, United States. However, you can find this on the internet, on uh, several uh, inner places, um, uh, 
where you can uh, you can type La Llorona, Jairo Bustamante, and you can uh, actually have this this movie for at least three dollars, which is really cheap if you think about it compared to other productions. And it's a really nice one. Actually, it's one of the best productions of Guatemala in Latin America on the last years. Uh, so my conclusions is that this is a very recommendable movie. You can watch it and you'll enjoy it and you'll have a good time, all right? And uh, you don't need to know the story, the background of La Llorona as a character in Latin America to understand this. You can perfectly uh, watch this movie, it's watchable, and uh, you can, uh, well, enjoy it and understand it. So to me, it's a recommendable movie. So this is the first review that we have on the channel. Uh, share your thoughts down below if you uh, watched the movie uh, already. Please share your thoughts. What do you think about it? And uh, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so you may get all of our videos. I'm Paul and this is Pelly Family.